Yo, 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 my name is Joel Zaha. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Unreal Tournament. Today, we're going to be looking at UT4UU and why you should be using it if you aren't already. So as a little backstory, Epic Games has abandoned Unreal Tournament 4 back in mid-2017 due to the growing success of Fortnite, which left everyone with whatever latest UT patch was released at that time, which happens to be version 0.1.12.1. Anyway, since then, <laughs> since then until now, players have found many bugs and issues within that patch, and no one has been able to fix them since Epic stopped releasing new versions. Now we're into UT4UU to solve these problems. UT4UU is a companion application that runs alongside Unreal Tournament 4 that provides various fixes, quality of life improvements, and additional features to the game. These include things like faster loading and downloading times, FPS boosts, launching the game without Epic Games Launcher, playing more taunts, launching console commands at startup, and the ability to turn off annoying in-game effects. So installing UT4UU is actually quite simple. Just head over to the UT4UU Discord I've linked in the description and go to the releases channel and download the latest version. At the time of recording, only version 7 is released, but version 8 is supposed to come out quite soon, so I'll let you guys know in the description if that comes out or if I can send you the link to that. Uh, I'm going to be going through some of the new features of version 8 since there's quite a lot of good features in it. Hopefully the UT4UU developer will release version 8 soon. So once you've downloaded, just open it and unzip it. Just drag this file to anywhere you want. I'm just going to keep it in my desktop for now and you want to double click the launcher.exe. Now the first thing you want to do is tell UT4UU where your game is installed. So go to setup and check if this path is correct. It should usually automatically find where your game is installed. If this is wrong, then just click browse and look for where the game is installed. So wherever it's installed, just click on Unreal Tournament, Engine, Binaries, Win64, and then just click that executable file and you should be good to go. Uh, next, you have to tell UT4UU what Epic account you want to use. And this is quite important if you want to use the ability to launch the game without opening Epic Games Launcher. Uh, so all you need to do is click this link and it might ask you to log in. Um, I'm probably already logged in. So it's going to redirect me straight to this page. And I'm going to copy this, whatever this says, and just paste it right there. Click Add Account. And then it should add your account to UT4UU. And that should be fine. All right, so now you can press on the general options tab. In fast startup, you wanna click pre-process now. What this is doing is it's just gonna pre-process all your custom content that you currently have installed. The time it takes for it to pre-process, it usually the first time you do it, it takes like a minute or two. Basically, it just pre-processes all the packs so that when you launch the game, it doesn't take like four hours to launch. Like I have like 200 packs installed and if I don't use UT4UU, the game literally takes like five minutes to launch and just pre-processing it first just makes it so that when you launch the game, you don't have to wait so long. And the game for now only takes like 20 seconds to open instead of five minutes. Once that's done, you can just go to the finish tab now and click launch UT4UU. So that's just gonna directly launch the game without Epic Games Launcher. See, Epic Games is not here, but it can just launch the game directly. Uh, and you can also create a desktop shortcut. So just click create launch a shortcut and it will make a shortcut. So you can just open launcher again there. Uh, and you can also create a game shortcut. So basically, if you open this, it will just directly open the game without even needing to open UT4UU. You, you just double click that and the game just directly launches, which is quite convenient. And yeah, once the game loads, you should get this message. Now let's take a quick look at some of the features that version 7 of UT4UU has to offer. Version 8 adds some more features, however, it's not released yet. I'll let you know in the comments if it gets released or I can share a download link if I get permission from the developer. So the first thing you'll see in the general options tab is obviously the fast startup, which we've already done. That just makes the game launch a lot faster. Uh, next, you can also choose to enable the fast loading of custom matches. So this refers to either single player or multiplayer custom matches. Basically, when you click on the custom tab normally, it lags for a long ass time. And even if you click away and click back, it will still lag. Uh, but with UT4UU, you can make it slut. It only lags once the first time you click on it. And you can also make it so that the game simulates opening the custom tab while the game is loading, uh, which will increase the time it takes for the game to launch, but at least it won't like lag forever when you click on the custom tab. So I usually keep this off since I don't normally do custom matches, but if you do it often, then I suggest you turn that on. Next here, you can add startup commands to the game, and these are applied in the console when the game first launches. Uh, so for example, like UT4UU just opens the help 
menu in the console uh, when it first launches. And then I also like to do r.screen percentage one through three. It's basically just super samples the game to 1440p. And then you can also do like other things like stat FPS if you want. And that just shows your FPS or you, whatever other things you want to do during when you start the game. It's kind of like the auto exec function in CSGO. So it's quite convenient. Let's look at gameplay additions. Uh, now the first thing you'll see is the clan name animator. This doesn't actually work at the moment. And that's probably a good thing because it's super buggy and it's probably going to annoy the other players since your username is going to be con constantly changing. Next we have the ability to use any taunt you want by simply pressing the keys on your numpad. So if you don't have a numpad, uh, I guess you can't use it since it only lets you bind it to the numpad. So as you can see, uh, each numpad is already assigned to a taunt and you can change it to whatever you want and it's pretty cool. So as you can see in game, I can now do any taunt I want without being limited to the two taunts that the game lets you bind. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the version 8 features of UT4 UU. So I have version 8 installed here. I got the beta from the developer. Um, so again, this is not publicly released at the time of recording, but it will hopefully be released soon since some of the features are actually quite useful, especially for any Blitz players out there. So first in the general options, we have some extra options here, most of which I don't really know how they work, but uh, they're useful for people who want to implement like custom features or menus that work alongside UT4 UU. You know, I just enable all of them for now. Unlock cosmetics makes it so that most of the things in the player menu are unlocked. I don't know exactly what is unlocked, but I just logged in <laughs> with a level one account and it looks like we have quite a lot of stuff already, so that's nice. Uh, expand Epic's leveling system basically means that you can go above level 50. So as you can see here, guys, these guys are way above level 50 and it actually shows it now. Uh, just a cool little add-on. And here we have logging options for troubleshooting. In gameplay additions, the clan name animator still doesn't work as far as I know, but now we have all these other options that can improve quality of life, such as hiding enemy names, hiding first person weapons, which actually hides your entire player model. I don't know if that's intentional or a bug, but I think it does help boost the FPS. It also hides some effects like the link beam, which I actually like, but if you don't like that, then I don't recommend turning this feature on. Uh, force all characters to have default skin does what you would expect it to do. I don't know why you would want to do that, but there is the option. Hide delivery point in blitz, quite self-explanatory. Uh, hide blitz rally point charging effect. Now this is actually quite useful, especially for the flag carrier in blitz. It removes that stupid effect when you're rallying so you can actually see the enemies, pretty cool. Uh, hide player towels in blitz is especially useful for mega blitz players. It removes some clutter off of the HUD, which is good. And lastly, remove bot voices. Uh, so no more voice taunts and no annoying blitz announcer going, Somebody get the U damage! Or, I'm going back for health! So, if you don't like that, then enable that and it's going to be all gone. Anyway, that's all I have to show you guys today about UT4UU. This video is not actually sponsored or anything. I just decided to make it to let people know about this app because it, the developer spent a lot of time making it and it really helps improve the UT4 gaming experience in my opinion. If you have any problems with UT4UU, you can just chat in the Discord and the developer is happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this in the future.